Unfortunately, free commerce has no backtesting tool available, so it's difficult to find out if your settings are working well or if they're not. The only way to test your bots without risking your real money is with a paper trading account in free commerce. However, for that you have to pay, and you can only have one bot running with the starter plan. For multiple bots to test, you need at least the advanced or the pro plan. Fortunately enough, someone on TradingView was kind enough to put all free commerce DCA bot settings into TradingView strategy that you can use for free to backtest every setting that you can imagine. So if you search for free commerce on TradingView and then filter for the strategies, you can find the backtesting free commerce DCA bot version 2 by Rauxam. So huge props to this guy for making this script accessible for free. So to use the strategy on your own charts, you can click on it and then scroll down and add the script to your favorite indicators. After that, we can then open a chart and apply the strategy by clicking on indicators at the top and then selecting the script from our favorites. Now you can see that the script has been overlaid and displays this beautiful table with all the data that we'll need. So to test your own settings, you can click on settings of the script and then go to inputs. All these imports are exactly the same that you can configure on your free commerce bots. You have to take profit as well as the take profit type. You can use a trailing take profit and a stop loss. For the order size, you can then also use a fixed amount or a percentage of your equity so that you can simulate compounding your profits. You can change the base order safety order size, change the max safety trades count, the price deviation, volume scale, step scale, as well as the deal starting condition. These are all supported and you already know them from your free commerce bots. As for the deal starting condition, you can choose between the RSI 7, you can choose to always start a new deal as soon as possible, or you can use TradingView's own buy and sell indicators. At the bottom, you can then also choose the time frame that you want to backtest. Now, before we do a proper backtest, I want to configure the script myself because I always want to backtest the whole time frame that is available and I don't want to enter it manually every time. And I also want to have the daily profit displayed on the table. So in order to do that, we can open the code of the script and then create the copy of the script. I will replace it because I've already made a copy. Then I'm gonna change the uh, default start date and end date. This is always used. So I'm just gonna type in 1999 because no crypto has ever gone back to this date. And then also I'm gonna use 2099. So it will always test the whole time frame that is available. And then at the end of the script, I'll just copy and paste my code said so that I have one more row that is displayed on the table, which will be the daily profit percentage. So we can remove the old strategy, save this one to see if everyone, everything's working, and then add this one to the chart. Now you can see that the table also displays the daily profit percentage, and it always uses the whole time frame that is available to backtest. Now the bot that we're going to backtest is the one from a recently published video about the best free commerce DCA bot beginner settings. But the bot was using a take profit of 3%. It was using no trailing take profit, no stop loss. For the beginning, we'll choose a fixed amount of $10 for the base order safety order size. We're using a max safety trades count of 7. And the price deviation is 1.87. Volume scale is 1.4. Step scale is 1.7. And then we're going to choose ASAP for the deal starting conditions. At the bottom again you can see that the time frame is now the whole time frame that is available. Now before we have a closer look at the results we need to make sure that our initial capital is the same amount as the amount that the bot will need. So you can see the error up here that currently our initial capital is $3,009 whereas the bot only requires $248.53. So to change this we can back we can go back to the settings, go to properties, and then change our initial capital to whatever is required by your bot. Now with these default settings and using the Bitcoin pair, we can see that the profit per day is really low as it's only 0.7%. Obviously using Bitcoin as a pair to trade is not ideal since it's moving very slow. If you want to know the best way to choose your pairs for free commerce DCA bots, I have a video about it on my channel. Because choosing the correct pairs has the biggest impact on your overall profit. If I switch from Bitcoin to Luna, which is actually a coin that I'm using right now to trade, 
we can see that the daily profit percentage increased from 0.07 to 0.17. With these settings, we then also have a max coverage of 60.16%. So these are really, really safe settings to use. However, if we are in a bull market, we could also go ahead and be a little bit more risky. For example, only use six safety orders instead of seven. So if we change the settings right here, and then also change the initial capital that is required. We can see that the profit changed from 0 0.17 to around 0 0.25. Now 0.25 with almost 39% coverage are really insane numbers because you have to always keep in mind that this is without compounding your profits. Now if we want to simulate compounding profits, we always need to use a percentage of our total equity so that the profit is also affected by the order size. Now with these settings, we can use a percentage of our equity when the base and safety order are both $5.8 big. Now if we change these settings, you can now see that the daily profit increased to 0.55%. And even if we switch back to the Bitcoin pair, you can see that from the beginning, from 0.07%, it increased to an average of 0.35% per day. 